Thai People is pleased to present 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, as it continues to lead the way in advocacy for the creation and dissemination of technology that enables financial inclusivity. The 40 Days 40 Fintechs is shining a spotlight on those that are breaking down digital barriers and bringing millions more on the continent into the transactional space and transforming their lives for the better. We founded Money Saint in 2019 uh, with my team. We developed a, an application that people can use to send and receive money and coordinate all other uh, efforts involving money. Um, I thought of money sent as something that would solve a problem because you see, uh, the reason why I created money sent was, was one time ago when I wanted to send money to my friend in America and I wanted to do MoneyGram online. So I signed up at MoneyGram online successfully my email my name unfortunately i would i could not send money to another person using moneygram online because i was a ugandan so i was like no uganda needs uganda needs something that is international because I, at least i have a hundred dollars on my bank account and i was only sending thirty dollars so i was like so they look at us as a as uh, their, policy, their policies guard us from using their systems. So I said, no, we should develop something that could help everyone, something that, that anyone can use. Because there are people out there who are needing these kind of uh, systems, but they never get to, to use them because they are not, uh, not, not uh, able to use them. So it's because of their policies they put up uh, that Ugandans are not supposed to send money online using MoneyGram and stuff like that. So. That is why I said money sent. I, I thought of something that would be cheaper and convenient for everyone. That's why I said money sent. It's been a year since we, we started and it's been going well. Like, well, we're serving about more than 3,000 people right now. And we have about 497 agents, money sent agents all around the country. And uh, we've, we have uh, done more than 1 billion shillings in transactions in our small start because I'm sure you've never seen us on TV or anywhere. So we've been doing no more advertisements and then we've been able to catch up people's minds over our services that we, we offer. First of all, before you send money uh, using money set, you must be a registered user and a verified user. We have a system that verifies your ID and your photo. So uh, it's not the same day, it's instant. The reason as to why we have money sent, it is, in, it is in past. That the moment you click on send, money has already been sent. So it is instantaneous. So you'll get your money instantly. And we're using the best security. I cannot uh, put it out here, but we have the best security. We do not think anyone can come into our system for sure. Yeah, we try to prevent that every single day. And we have personalized uh, uh, systems that do do, do, do the guarding. Yeah. Money, saving, money saving groups for women because we know that women are doing more of this than men do. So in that, uh, women have always had this problem that we're keeping our money with Penina. Then Penina gets a sick child. Then Penina uses the money. So money sent came to solve that problem. Like money sent as a system, you come with Penina, Jane and Joan, then you set up a date on when you want this money to be collected from your account. And then you set up a date on when you want this to be paid out in queue, according to your queue. Whether Jen comes first, whether Penina comes first, and no one in that group that you've created within the money sent application has the ability to get that money out, but the system does it automatically. So if it's Jen's turn, Jen will get there 100,000 at that day, 12 in midnight. In the morning, they woke up to see their money so they can use they can use that money to do anything with, with, with the money set application. The fact that these fintechs are coming up uh, because we want to boost our economy and we want to employ young men and women who are vigilant, who are, who are, who are optimistic about the, 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 the future. You know, once I, I shared with, uh, with the Minister of Finance and I told him that we agree, we, we agree with those people in America, we agree with those people in Nigeria, but they are not the governments that have come up with these kinds of developments. They are people like us that have come up with developments like these ones. So since Uganda is a growing economy and we have 
so many fintechs coming. You know, Uganda is wide enough and the market is big enough that we need more money sent companies, as many as possible, because we are growing economy. And, and I know that if we all come in, there is going to be a lot of job opportunities for, for, for the young men and women in our country. Yeah. But the challenge is, the challenge is that we have people who are coming in here. For example, Money Cent is a self-owned, like, we have no investors from America, investors from Nigeria, no one. Yeah. So it, it, it becomes hard for us to run the business because we don't have too much money. And now our government put up policies for all of us. If you have a billion dollars or not, they put policies for everyone. So that becomes a problem to us because now if we have to pay 50 million per year uh, for license, it becomes a little hard for us to do that because we don't have any other investors coming in. And when shall we ever break even if we have to pay that kind of money every single, every single year? I would wish that if uh, the government would give us about two to three years to prepare ourselves to know whether we shall be able to run the market. They can have us their policies with us and we run under their policies, we run under their regu regulations, and then we find out if we can really do the business. And if we can, then we can start paying them. So another challenge that we have is with aggregators, the telecodes. They tend to charge 2% of every amount of money that is being sent to them. So we receive less, yet you're a customer, you're a customer, you want to use money sent. We have options where you can, how you can add money sent. You can add money, money on money sent using your bank account, that's your Visa or MasterCard, MTN or Airtel. But we get a challenge with MTN and Airtel because most of the people here that are, are, that are unbanked use MTN and Airtel. And we have services that they don't have on their platforms. So you adding money on money sent, they will charge money sent 2% or more. So, and the, the, the client expects to get 100,000, yet money sent is getting lower than that. So that is a very, very big challenge. So there should be, there should be, there should be togetherness in everything that we do, because Uganda is too big for only Airtel and MTN. Being that it is high people that is bringing up this 40 days, 40 fintechs initiative. It's a brand that has been there for so many years. So I believe they know what they're doing for sure. So the fact that we have this initiative going on, it is because they want to expose us to the world. Like, for example, me here, I want to be exposed. And from today onwards, I'll start getting phone calls. So I would urge all those fintechs around the country to join the initiative because we all need it. So as I wind up, I would like to let you know how you can access Money Saint. We're on Google Play. You can just type Money Saint and download the application. Also, you can visit us on our website, www.moneysaint.org. 40 Days 40 Fintechs is presented in prior partnership with Crosslake Technologies, Modus Box, Mojolub Foundation, and Level 1 Project.